likely a problem of the inferior trapezius or the underlying erector spinae. So as we're going to get to in a second, we're going to talk about this muscle here, which is the iliocristalis thoracis. The iliocristalis thoracis, in this case, the scapula is a little bit, um, has been brought out laterally, so you can actually see that muscle. That muscle is a very, very important postural muscle. When people have that upper cross type syndrome or upper cross type posture, the iliocristalis thoracis is one of the more common muscles that, or fascial structures that will get fibrotic and become painful and tender. That's often overdiagnosed with rib problems and rib strains or rib fixations. Remember, if there is an actual joint problem and a rib problem, the person will probably have pain on inhalation. They'll have pain when you actually challenge the rib joint itself. But just because there's pain in that vicinity, it doesn't make it a costotransverse junction problem. So that is very, uh, very commonly the problem, and it's blamed on that overlying rhomboid. Now, why does this make a difference? It makes a difference because if you are trying to impart tension into those tissues, the iliocristalis thoracis is almost completely vertical, whereas the rhomboid is almost completely horizontal. So when you're applying your tissue tension, it's going to make all the difference in the world as to whether or not you can put enough tissue tension into that, that muscle to change the fascial composition. Okay? So that's why I was referring to that overdiagnosis of rhomboid major. 